we're gonna jump right into it. Gil, what is up, dude? Uh, hold on, let me make you a spotlight. Uh, let me make sure I got it recording. All right, dude, it's good to see you. You look like you have a certain like uh, relaxed face, a relaxed thing. So, uh, what happened, dude? Why do you look so different? Why are you smiling so much? That freaking past the PMP thing. <laughs> <laughs> That's good, dude. All right, man. Well, we're really, really proud of you. Tell us, like, uh, give us the short version. Like, what, what was the journey like? What, what, what worked? What helped you, dude? Talk us through it, man. The short version, um, for those of you that don't know, I took it the first time and I failed. And so um, I, so you have, well, you have two breaks in between. And on the coming back from the second break, I had two minutes to complete 60 questions. Yeah. So I didn't manage my time well. Um, first time or whatever, right? First time, yeah. First time, yeah. So this time around, um, the, the one thing, because I, I knew the stuff, I, just, I was just getting too caught up in rereading and questioning and all this stuff. So the, the only real difference I did is, you know, I continued to study, but then the only data dump, quote unquote, and this is just for me, um, was the timing. So yeah. I literally wrote down what, uh, Scott, your 30 minutes, 25 questions. Yeah. And I, I wrote down at the 200 mark, 200 minute mark. I need to be, I need to at least be in the ballpark of 25 questions. And yeah. so I wrote that down because in the, in the test, I, I can't do the math in my head and where I'm supposed to be and how many questions I'm supposed to have done. And I think that's what I panicked the first time. Yeah. So this time around, you know, I would look, okay, 170, I have 170, 170 minutes. Okay, I should be around 40 questions. Okay, I'm a little behind, but don't panic, don't panic. Yeah. And I just kept going on. And I was behind the whole time. I was about 10 to 12 questions behind. But at the end, I had about five questions left, five minutes, and I had about five questions left and still had a review about five or so. And towards the end, I just was like, you know what? It is what it is. Click. I went through, click, 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 boom. And uh, this time around, I got above target in all three areas, That's which awesome. was amazing because just because I was running out of time. Yeah. Yeah. So, Man, I got an idea for that and I'll talk to you about it in a second. But um, as far as like the learning part of it, right? Like, so you've been with us for a little while. You've been doing this stuff. Look at that. Like actually at the office, this is cool. Like uh, when someone's out there, we've got a lot of new people on here, Brittany and other Eric. Um, what is the biggest thing they need to realize about how to learn the content? Like, how do you think about it, man? The way I think is just trust the process. Um, it really works. I, just to give you guys a little background, I, I don't have any, I mean, I've done agile back in the day, uh, probably like five years ago. So coming in, I didn't know anything. And so the process really works. I tried other programs through my work. That was so cumbersome. Like I didn't even know where to begin, at least with Scott's program. Day one, do this. And, and with your coach, if you just stick to a plan, that is, I mean, that's the magic right there. And, and, and also the other thing is you got to set a date because if you don't set a date and that's what happened, I, I failed the first time and I got discouraged and yeah. I was pouting. And <laughs> for like several months, I was pouting. And so finally I checked my scores and I barely failed with missing half the test or a quarter of the test. So I was like, so I got back on the horse and then March, beginning of March, I set the date. And once yeah. I set the date, it's like something just clicked. And any moment I had, I was studying, whether it's the flashcards, listening to a video, fine tuning the areas I didn't know. Um, and, and even then I felt like I didn't know everything and I still don't know everything. <laughs> Right. But, you're uh, learning. Like, I think that's the thing as we get into this stuff that like the thing I'm pleased about with a lot of the students, they did really, they do really well. That's excellent. But they have a certain like humbleness and openness, but like a relative confidence about them where it's like, dude, we're learning a skill. We're getting better. Like, you know, this is like the start of a good journey. So yeah. keep it up. Uh, you, and you said you didn't know anything, like you were still working projects and stuff. It's just like, you maybe like the structure and the details, like that's the thing that I'm really encouraged by that you were like, you just took to it and you're like, I can learn it. I can do it. I can frame it up. So super duper, man. That's awesome. That's awesome, dude. Um, anybody got any questions for him? We got, we got Gil here. He, nice enough to come on. Anybody got any questions? 
Come on, I know somebody's got to cut. I'll add. Yo, when 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 you were saying flashcards, were these you were creating based off the material with Scott's program? Uh, Scott has a digital Flash copy card. of both. Oh, those. those digital ones. Okay, I thought it was yeah, like yeah. your own notes. So and yeah, we I, have an I, app coming out too in like uh, I don't know three that weeks. Would, but yeah. That would be awesome. Um, yeah, what right. I did was I I saved that file to my phone, and anytime I had a moment, I would just go through and. It's more for definition, you know, just awesome. learning definitions. But it, it really helped because, oh, there's times, you should have seen me on the test. There was times where I was, like, scared, and then there was times where I was like, you ain't going to get me on this one. So there was questions where I was like, <laughs> oh, if I didn't know, if I didn't know where I was in the process, like executing versus planning, this question would have totally gotten me. And so just knowing that, I was like, it was almost like I was – in my head, kind of sticking the middle finger at the computer. <laughs> <laughs> in the nice way. In a nice way. In a nice uh, way. <laughs> who was your coach, dude? Uh, Salvador. How was that? Like, Salvador's Salvador. very, very specific, right? Like, Salvador's detailed in a sense. What did yes. you, how, you I, I like Salvador. Salvador was, um, I mean, he told me the first time, he's like, Gil, you're ready. Um, and so I went for it, and it was just time management. I, I was definitely ready. Um, but yeah, Salvador is good. He knows the stuff. I don't know how many of you have Salvador as your, as the coach, but, um, he's really cool. Knows his stuff. Um, really kind of motivates you. I kid you not. There's times where, you know, I was kind of getting unmotivated just by going to the coaching class that motivated me to like, okay, I got to get back on this horse. Got to get back on this horse. And literally, I think one time he actually te- uh, emailed me. He was like, Hey Gil, what's going on? And just that <laughs> alone was like, I got it, Salvador. I, I, I got it. I'll, I'll get back on the horse. So, yeah, <laughs> the coaching cool. calls work. That's cool. When you it. when you set your date to do the test, um, did you set it based on when you were ready or did you try to be ready by that date you set to redo the test? I went off of uh, what would the availability because I, I set it back in March 2nd, I believe, or, or 4th. And I think the, the next available was March 25th. And I was, and then the next one after that was like in April or June. And I was, I told myself, I can't, I can't do this. Yeah. I, have to keep, I have to do this as soon as possible. Um, Cause there, it was consuming me. And so uh, yeah. I just went and I knew I was ready, but I still didn't feel ready. But the 25th seemed like the right day. So I basically went off of that, just the availability of the test. Okay. Right, That's cool. Brittany's, Brittany's two days in, so she's almost ready. So we're good to go. All right. Uh, yeah. Who else has got a question? Uh, yeah. Okay, cool. W- one more question. Anybody got any questions for Gil? And then I got a proposal for Gil. All right. Here's the deal, Gil. I, I want to do, like, you've been through the exam and the pacing thing. I haven't spent a ton of time outside of what we did, like, really nailing down something, like, super creative and, like, a method. So what I'd like to do after this, like, is you and I just strategize. I've got some ideas for like ways to make it easy. Like when you were saying in there, like, dude, it's so hard for me to like do the math. Like we want to eliminate the math. Like we just want to make it like super simple. So I got some ideas. I'm going to throw some ideas to you. And then maybe you and I can work together and we can make something cool. That's like a little exercise, a little template they can use in their brain to help do the time. So if you're game for it, I'll give you a call. And yeah, absolutely. Right on, dude. All right. That's awesome. Uh, all right. Any, any last questions for Gil? Gil, we appreciate it. You did awesome, man. We're really proud and, uh, get in the alumni group and we'll, we'll hook you up PDUs and the rest of the junk. And so we'll get you going, dude. Good luck guys. Congrats, Gil. All right. Yeah. yeah. Here we go. Awesome. See you later. Dude. Thanks. Congrats.